Now we go from the corporate again to the VC. It's a company called VNT Management, a crazy team of Finnish guys who are really strong in technology. And this is a German guy is actually taking um, the risk and the adventure of working with the Finnish. And we are curious to learn how you do it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jan, for the nice introduction. I, uh, yeah, my name is uh, Torsten Bieski. I should probably mention that the title of the presentation, Smart Investors from Finland, was not really picked by us, but uh, of course, we, we like to be smart also. If, um, uh, I would like to introduce the company to you. Uh, we are seven partners, uh, seven colleagues in the company. Uh, we have four offices in Finland and uh, one office in Munich. As uh, Jan already mentioned, uh, myself and a colleague of mine is uh, in Munich. The company was founded in 2002. We have uh, three funds under management, a total of 157 million euros under management. And uh, our focus is uh, renewable energy, clean technology, energy efficiency. I will talk about that more later in the, in the talk. I, uh, I also would like to point out that uh, maybe we are not the typical kind of financial investors. In fact, uh, we all have an industrial background. So when we uh, look at uh, the colleagues in the company, uh, all of us have some, uh, in, uh, has a lot of industrial experience, many years in uh, R&D, in operations, in uh, logistics, marketing, uh, general management. And uh, that's part of, uh, part of our business model that we like to use this kind of experience and, uh, and also uh, try to help the companies that uh, we are investing in uh, in order to help them to grow and to be successful in the market. So it's really this uh, the very strong uh, industrial experience that we also like to bring to the party, in addition to the money, of course, and, and money always helps, uh, obviously. Uh, team members, uh, Veo, Yamo, Yussi, uh, they are from the uh, early days, from 2002, 2003, and then Harry joins the company. In fact, Harry is also here in the audience, Harry. So my, my colleague Harry is here with me today. And then uh, Vesa joined, myself joined the uh, company in 2009, and uh, we have a new member in our team now, Peter, who is uh, with me in, in the Munich office now. Of course, values are important, and uh, I thought uh, maybe it's also worthwhile to, to list our values. I mean, high competence and close collaboration, of course, that's uh, important if you want to uh, have a successful business. But I would like to uh, point out the second point here, fair play and uh, humble and courage. Fair play is really what we really mean. So we are not greedy investors. Uh, of course, we want to make money as everybody else, but it should be a win-win situation that we can all share in the success. So that's very important uh, for us to have really a, a fair play value in whatever we do. And uh, of course, the other things are also important, uh, target orientation and continuous improvement, creativity, I mean, all these things are good when you want to have a successful business, we believe. I mentioned earlier that uh, I would like to talk more about our investment focus, and, uh, and the title of the presentation was Smart Cleantech Investor, but what is cleantech, actually? And uh, I guess it has, to some extent, also expanded uh, in terms of meaning over the years, really. Uh, some people look at cleantech as being renewable energy, obviously, also, energy saving, energy efficiency is very important. But then it's also water treatment, recycling, e-mobility, and uh, even goes further to the reduction of uh, resource consumption, environmental protection, sustainability. Uh, but for us, really, uh, the main focus uh, for us is really electrical systems. So we pretty much focus on renewable energy and energy efficiency, energy saving, really. And uh, we like everything that has to do with electrical systems. And, and the reason being is what I explained earlier, because of our industrial background, that is our background, electrical engineering, and, and that's why we try to pass that experience on to, to the target companies we have. Okay, um, when we do investments, obviously we have also investment criteria. What are we looking for when we invest in a company? And the number one point, uh, obviously, is what most people would also put here as the number one point. It's a good management team because the company in the daily operations, although you, you really try to help them and to, to uh, improve and, uh, and provide assistance to them, at the end of the day, it's really the management team of the company that needs to make a company successful. So that is obviously very important. 
Then, uh, of course, we also need to see a credible business plan and, uh, and see the technology. So when we look at the business plan, I mean, the financial numbers are always there, but nobody really knows what the future will bring. But for us, we really like to understand the technology. What is the potential of the new technology? Can it be really applied into kind of what market? Can the market take off? Uh, is there any customer benefit really for the technology? So that's also where we try to bring in our own ex experience from the past and really look at, uh, at the business plans of these companies. And, uh, and then later, of course, we need to look at the financial numbers, but, but understanding really the value proposition for the customers, number one. Um, in order to scale up the business, we prefer business that is B2B business, um, obviously. And we also are lo always looking for our value-adding potential there because we, we try to help, as I said. And then at the end of the day, okay, investment terms, valuation, exit, all very important. I said uh, renewable energy is an area that we are investing in. So when we look at uh, renewable energy, what is that really? And, uh, and really, if you, if you think about it, all we have, solar energy, uh, wave, wind, uh, uh, hydro energy, um, most of that energy re really comes from the sun. And then uh, there are only few other energies that are not from the sun. It's uh, tidal forces and also uh, geothermal energy. And then if you look on the right-hand side, what do we do with it? Uh, for us, number one, of course, is electrical power, and then also uh, related to electrical storage and uh, energy management systems. But of course, we can also make heat and fuel out of the renewable energies we have. And when you follow these, these arrows, it's a little bit busy slide, I guess. You can see you, you transform the energy somehow then into, uh, into an electrical energy, use a generator to do that typically, and then you have power electronics to really feed in the electrical energy into the grid. And that's really where we also see our focus here. And now I have a similar slide, <laughs> which, is <coughs> which is also very busy, but it's kind of the same slide I showed earlier, but now I just also added uh, target companies that we have in our portfolio on the slide. So if you look at the slide, you, you can see when, when we look on the left-hand side, all these different sources of renewable energy. And then we, uh, we have companies working on wave turbine, for instance, a company called Rello. So they have uh, developed a technology that can harvest the energy from, the, from a wave in the ocean in a, in a, in a, in a very way that it's, uh, that it's sustainable in, in harsh conditions of the ocean. And then we also have a wind company, Mavento, uh, Gasek uh, providing uh, gasification of wood, uh, Fixtory doing a bundler system for, for wood, so it's all in the, in the biomass arena. And then we, if we move our attention more to, to the right, then uh, mobile work machines is uh, another field where we see a lot of potential uh, because it's a combination of electrical power electronics and make use of the, of the potential and, uh, and the power of power electronics to recuperate the energy, for instance, and then apply it. So it makes the whole, the whole process more energy efficient, really. And we have Vistado there. And then Alcogen, Convion, and the fuel cell. And uh, if we go further to the right, uh, Dilatronics uh, is a company making LED systems. So again, it's also about energy efficiency again. Uh, if you want to know more about the companies, please see our website. Uh, just the last second to last slide, I guess, uh, our contact information in our Munich office. We are located in the central part of Munich, uh, more or less next to the main station. And then here's a list of, uh, of all the colleagues in the team. So if you have any questions or if you have any great business idea and would like to get in touch, uh, please uh, uh, call us or send us an email and uh, look at our website uh, in order to uh, get all the contact details. Thank you very much for your attention. Great. I confirm that um, the choice smart, it was a, a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you have a question for Thorsten? Come on, guys, don't be shy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Friedrich Schreffer, my name. Uh, well, you have talked uh, a lot about uh, renewable energies, and uh, that's for me somehow connected to renewable resources, bioplastics or so. Uh, are you interested in those fields too? Um, when it comes to uh, just recycling of, let's say, bio pla uh, plastic material to make it bioplastic and these things, if, it, if it's very much related to, let's say, chemical 
processes uh, actually we're not so interested in. Not, and it's not because we don't believe in it, it's simply because it's not our background. So, because as I said, we like to pass on our experience, so we like really to focus on what we're really good at, and then it's more on electrical systems rather than on chemical processes. Thank you. Another one? I hope I did not discourage people now from uh, sending us business plans. I mean, it, we are not <laughs> that strict. I mean, it doesn't always have to be electric <laughs> systems. <laughs> Great. But this is a VNT management, and um, they will come after you in the breaks, I suppose. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.